inside this way. I brushed this way. Okay. Good. Good. Misty's in a good mood today, so have a good practice. Your um, your helmet and reins are down there, but your saddle's over there. Nice to see you, Abigail. Ten minutes late. You know what I always say. I know. Ten minutes early is on time. Exactly. Now, come on. Let's get started. Good? Abigail, let's get started. For the last time, let's get started. You can't boss me around. My dad pays you. So, technically, you work for me. Your dad pays me because I'm in charge. So you have to do what I say. No, I do not. As a matter of fact, I am not practicing today. I have better things to do. I'll write her. All right. It needs to be worked out anyway. Saddle up. Glued to your hips, hon. Bring them down. Wonderful job, man. Keep working her. Bring him around. Come on, Misty, come on. Come on, girl. Avery, how you doing this morning? I'm all right, Charlotte. That horse is still pulling. Okay, that's definitely not a good sign. I know it. Come on, Amanda. Take her around again. One more time around, Amanda. We got some time, though, to work it out, don't we? We're definitely going to try to figure something out, but uh, Mr. Ken will definitely be upset. Very, very upset. We'll fix it. Look, remember, hey, she's doing good. Don't tell her nothing else, all right? Hey, get your hands up. Come on now. Hey, up, up. Amanda. Sir, Mr. Canton, sir, um, how are you? Um, I'm almost done. I just have to finish cleaning out the barn. Relax. Please. Charlotte already told me how hard you work at the barn. I'm glad that I hired you to come here and work after school. You've been a delight to have around here. You really have. In fact, you know, you kind of remind me of Abigail when she was your age. She was so sweet. Thank you, sir. Abigail is, um, a wonderful girl. Yeah, well, she was. Maybe she will be again one day, <laughs> soon as she gets over her teenage years. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that fathers secretly wake up in a cold sweat every night, dreading the day that their daughters turn 14. Happens so quick, though, just, just like that. Sometimes I wish I could find that rewind button. Rewind button? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, I'm just an old guy, an old dad, rambling, rambling, rambling. Keep doing what you're doing. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'll see you tomorrow. Stop! It's called gardening, not throwing dirt. Stop, you stop. Hey, sugar bear. You're home early, how was your day? It was good, Dad. I got to trade Misty and I think she's finally starting to settle down, so. Wow, cool. that's awesome, sweetie. I bet she's just gonna do fine at that show. Um, what do you say, Tiff? Oh, yeah, uh, talk of the town, right? What do you even know about horses? Amanda, that is no way to talk to Miss Tiffany. Now, you apologize this second. Sorry. It's all right. Just mind my own business. Nonsense. You are part of this family. Dad, can I go inside and wash up for dinner? Go. I'm sorry.
What do you think, Avery? Well, boss, to be honest, I truly can't answer that as of yet. That's definitive. Come on, Avery. I know you're just trying to take me for a ride. You're the best trainer this side of the Mason-Dixon. That's why I hired you. Now give it to me and give it to me straight. Well, boss, honestly, I'm going to just need a little more time to answer that intelligently, that is. Okay? I hate to sound stupid, but I just need more time. We don't have any more time, Avery. It's the one thing we don't have. I know. I know. The show is important to me. I need... Uh, I want... Abigail to win it. I know how much this show really means to you, but I always tell the truth. Sometimes, boss, the best way to stay in the truth is not to speak at all, unless you're certain that is. Just thinking, I wish she had some of her daddy's blood in her. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Because that, uh, that competition at that St. Cloud show is going to be thick. I mean, it's going to be pretty tough. I know it. But there's no telling how much time it'll actually take to get her ready. It ain't never enough time. Okay, never enough time. That's what I told Mag's wife. I said, uh, uh Avery, Avery, Avery. What exactly does this have to do with anything? Nothing. Okay. Nothing at all. But look, one time, uh, you know, I wake up 4 day in the morning every morning to get my chops together because I got a little gingivitis. But uh, she put super glue on my toothbrush, okay? I didn't know nothing about it. I go to pick up my brush, you know, get my smile together like I do. You see my smile? <laughs> anyway, uh, I go to brush and then get my, you know, and I, and I feel a little resistance. So I give, and I'm trying to, <clears throat> I get one of them. I done pulled out two of my premolars, my front two wisdom teeth, and my canine. Every time your father buys you a new horse, all you do is complain. You have to have patience. So come around. Patience. I have had the utmost patience with this horse. I didn't even get to go to the mall with my friends today because my dad wanted me to practice. Her father was a champion. It's in her blood. You gotta give it some time. I've given this about as much time as I have for today. I need to go check my page and see what my friends are posting. I've wasted the whole week. Abigail! It's okay, Miss Lee. She's just a little upset, that's all, okay? and I mopped the kitchen floor. Oh, and also the bathrooms are spotless. Well, you're just doing everybody's job, aren't you? Well, you know, my mom always used to say, go above what is asked and you'll be rewarded above what you expect. So, you know, I'm thinking that reward's gonna be pretty sweet. Your mother sounds like she was a smart woman. Well, she wasn't smart enough to beat cancer. Do you want to see something? Come on. This place is beautiful. How'd you find it? I was born and raised around these parts. 
not a corner of this wilderness, I don't know, like the back of my hand. How do you remember which way to go? My daddy taught me. He told me the first rule to not getting lost was to pay attention. Know your steps. He taught me how to use a compass. It's pretty tough to get lost once you learn how to use it properly. I mean, that seems like common sense. <laughs> yeah. It does. A lot of people are common, but not everybody has sense. Mm. Amanda. What I'm trying to say is that... I believe God is our compass. And with him in our hearts, it's pretty hard to get lost. Even when you feel like you're in the wilderness. My daddy taught me that too. He was a great man. Cancer took him from me just like you. So, I know how you feel. Here. This is my daddy's compass. I can't take this. Yes, you can. I want you to. It would make me more than happy to pass his love on to an angel like you. Thank you, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I love you. <sighs> Thank you. For the pure love you show these horses. It reminds me to love without restraint. With a young heart. Whatever that means, but okay. <laughs> well, come on. Let's get you back to the ranch. Your daddy will be here soon to pick you up. So nervous. I feel like it's my kid going out there. You don't worry. She'll be okay. She's a great horse. That she is. Hey. You guys got up prepped up pretty nice. Yes, sir. Did everything just like you asked. Now, why am I not surprised? Hey. What? Let's go. Rachel! Oh, no. Stop running. do it myself. Sweetheart, one of these days, you're gonna meet a boy who opens a door for you and you will appreciate it, believe me. That, that I can fix it myself. I'm not five years old anymore. Abigail, we represent our family name. Our family name represents impeccable, impeccable taste. Let me see you. Yes. No, 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 no. <sighs> okay, you are now ready to compete. Go compete. Get that all over your shirt now, would you? You spilled it all over me. What's your problem? My name's Thomas.
how she's keeping her hands down? She's got her elbows in, always in front of her, nice and relaxed. Here comes the jump. I hate this animal! What are you doing? Get back on that horse. You don't quit. This horse is absolutely terrible! Abby, you get on that horse! she can do better. You never know. Sometimes you're just wrong about a horse. I know, Charlotte. I know she can do better. She just needs a little TLC. Well, Mr. Canton isn't exactly known for his patience. Could you just talk to him for me? Please, Charlotte? I don't know how much it's gonna help. Abigail's already sworn off this horse. She deserves another chance. Amanda. Please don't get attached. There's just not much we can do. Would you just please try to talk to him for me? Okay. Thanks, Charlotte. Okay. I'll speak with him. No promises. Best. Don't thank me yet. I don't expect to have good news for you. Charlotte, you of all people know how much time and effort goes into these horses, not to mention how much money. No, I refuse to carry the dead weight. I do know. I just need a little more time. You've had as much time as you could possibly use, Charlotte. The horse is a dud. Get rid of her. Cut my losses. That's just it. Why take a loss if you don't have to? I think we can make this horse a winner. You think? I didn't build this place on I think. I built this place on I know. I don't lose. I win. OK, well then, with all due respect, why would you concede defeat? I'm asking you for a little more time. I can make this horse a winner for you. Avery says he thinks she might have just had a virus. Avery, Avery. He's willing to work with her some more. I don't know. I don't know. Amanda said she'll work off what it costs to feed her, extra hours around the stable. Tell me something, Charlotte. Why this horse? What's so special about this horse? Make it good. You got one shot. There's just something about her. There's just something about her. Yes. Lord help me, I trust your judgment. But you have until Prairieville, young lady. Prairieville. If this horse is not performing by Prairieville, she's out of here. I have a taxidermist on retainer. Don't worry. Thank you. You won't be disappointed, Captain. I better not be disappointed, Charlotte. Just until the Prairieville show, and you have to pick up a Saturday shift to pay for her feed. Well, okay. That's okay. I know she'll do wonderful. I'm absolutely <sighs> positive. <laughs> Thank you. We can keep Misty. We can keep Misty. I need more money. This alimony payment isn't nearly enough. I have responsibilities. Ophelia, I have been ordered to pay you a certain amount of money every month. I pay you a certain amount of money every month, and every month you blow right through it. Now, I am not your personal ATM. You need to focus on your needs. Canton, I'm the mother of your child. How dare you talk to me so mean and disrespectful? Maybe I need to call my attorney. No, please, no. No more attorneys. I've had enough attorneys to last me a lifetime. Now, Ophelia, would you please try and spend this money responsibly? Like I said, Things are on an economic downturn. I don't mean any disrespect, but would you please leave? 
I need to get some rest. I've had a heck of a day. Hey. Hey, what do you think about marigolds? What? Marigolds. Oh, um, your dad asked me to paint something for the front of the house. He said we needed more color. I prefer roses. Me too. Do you know your dad? Yeah, he likes weird things. <laughs> I guess that's true. But I don't mind. I just want to keep him happy. Is he happy? Sure hope so. So you're decorating the house. What's next? You moving in? Well, no. No plans to move in yet. That'd be a pretty big step. Yeah, that'd be a huge step. Look, Amanda, I'm trying here. Can you give me a chance? Next time you should buy a painting. Misty, I missed you so Amanda. much! What did I say about coming in like that? I know, Miss Charlotte. Slow around the horses. Exactly. We don't want to get her upset, do we? Of course not. She's my favorite horse in the whole entire universe. <laughs> I bet she is. You sure treat her that way. Much better, Amanda. Much better. Just a little more work and she'll be ready. I think you might be right. <laughs> You've done a fabulous job. You should be very proud. Thanks. Thank me, thank yourself. <laughs> okay, thank you so. Oh. You know, my grandmother always used to say, success is a result, not an event. You always say such poetic things. You should have been a writer. <laughs> I'll always just be a country horse girl. And then again, that's all I really want. I love these animals. I mean, don't you want a family? Of course. One day, I guess, when the time is right. I miss being a family. Look, Amanda, just because she's gone doesn't mean she's not still your mother. It definitely doesn't mean you're not still a family, okay? Just because she's gone from out here, but she's definitely still in here, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Come on. Let's get Misty inside. We might have some time for some lemonade by the lake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're working long hours at those stables, honey. I know, Dad. I'm gonna get my schoolwork done, I promise. You know what our deal was, only a few hours a week. I don't want your schoolwork to suffer. Okay, Dad. Hey. I know you love horses. I know that's what you and your mom used to love to do, but... But what? You want me to forget about her, too? Just like you did? You want me to just move on to the next person like she never even existed? Well, I can't. Hey, listen to me. I miss her too, Amanda. I miss her too. But right now we have to be strong for each other. I'll try. You, you are everything to me. Please promise me that you'll never forget that. I done seen a lot of horses in my day, okay? And I know a winner when I see one. And I see you being stubborn. I know you can do it. You got it in you. But you just like my ex-wife. Stop. Now you're going to have to show me something. 
because I know you can do it. But you got to show me something. All right? Okay? Something's wrong. What are you talking about? She kept limping. I think it's her right foot. Come on, Lucy. It's okay. You're good. Yep. It's okay, Misty. You're all right. Sorry I pulled you so hard. Oh, whoa. Take her back to the stable. Get her looked at. Come on. I'm not gonna be okay. Come on. She done, Doc? I can't say for sure. It looks like she's sprained that ankle pretty bad. I mean, this could possibly require surgery. Not something you would normally do for a horse at this value. However, um, with some cold ice compresses and a few injections, she might bounce back just fine. I'll make sure she gets the good care she needs. Just let me know, Doc. Fair enough. I'll be back in a week to check up on her. Um, don't forget, ice compresses three times daily, okay? We won't forget. Hey. I want you to know, no matter what happens, you did a terrific job, young lady. Thanks, Mr. Canton, but don't worry. She'll be okay, I know. You're here late. Don't you have somewhere to be? Yeah. I'll be leaving soon. I just wanted to make sure Misty got the slice I pack in before I left. Well, that's sweet. But you can't always tend to others and forget about yourself, Amanda. I know. If you do that, you end up like me. Like you? What do you mean? You're beautiful. What I mean is you end up alone. You're not alone. You've got me. And you've got Misty. Well, thanks. That makes it so much better. Charlotte? Hmm? Do you sometimes just get scared of being a disappointment? I think everybody does, Amanda. But the way I deal with that is to just make sure I do my very best and everything. That makes sense. Yeah. God, come on. <laughs> I figured I could find you here. It's almost time for dinner. I'm not too hungry. What's wrong? I thought you loved it here. I do. I just... I think I pulled Misty's reins too hard, then I might have hurt her foot. It just... I feel terrible. Well, seems like you picked that gene up from your mama. She always blamed herself for everything. You know, but I think you give yourself way too much credit. Couldn't have been a weakness she already had. Could have been anything. Don't blame yourself. I know, Dad. I just... I feel like I want her to win so bad that I'm pushing her too hard. And I don't know what else to do. Well, winning is good, but I think having fun is a lot better. It's not what Mr. Canton says. Mr. Canton is a different kind of guy. 
Successful nonetheless, but at the same time, money isn't everything. And winning isn't everything. I know it doesn't sound like the truth, Amanda, but it really is. If you say so, Dad. You know, Amanda, I'm not sure if I really want you jumping. Your mother loved it so much. It caused her so much pain and heartache. She was just like you. She blamed herself for everything. You know, maybe we should shit the show out, and next year, when you're a little older... Dad, it's not fair. You can't keep me from jumping. Amanda, I don't know if I want you jumping. It's not fair! Please understand that! Wow. Somebody's sure working late. I was just handing down my duties. Amanda, I want to make sure that you also focus on all of your schoolwork, okay? Believe me, I understand how horses can be. They can take over your whole life. Yes, sir. Amanda, I know you love that horse. I do. I understand. Amanda, if that horse doesn't get better in a few days, I'm gonna have to get rid of her. What? You heard me. No, Mr. Kent, please, you can't do that. I'll do whatever's necessary. I know how you feel, I understand. But sometimes in life, we have to learn how to let things go. No, Mr. Kent, please just give her one more week. I promise she'll get better. Okay, you got one week. That's seven days. If that horse is not better in seven days, I am going to get rid of her. Now you go home and get your schoolwork done. Mr. Canton, get rid of you, I promise, okay? What's wrong, young lady? I heard you crying outside the door. Mr. Canton said he's gonna make me get rid of Misty if she doesn't get better in a week, Dad. Well, that's terrible. You know, it's all my fault. I pulled her reins too hard. Now her foot's hurt. Well, maybe she'll get better. You have to have faith, Amanda. It's all my fault. So we're good? I don't want Amanda to find out. I'm really trying to help her out here. It just, she loves that horse. I don't know if I can take this, though. I mean, come on, this is three times what I paid for the animal, plus all the vet bills. I mean. Look, it's, it's not for you, it's for her. Just make sure that the horse stays and, and that she's happy. Tell me something. Why are you jumping through all these hoops to win this little girl's affection? It's not like that. It's not. No, look, when Amanda's happy, 
her dad is happy. When her dad is happy, I'm happy. You can understand that, right? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Family's the most important thing. Of course, I learned that far too late in life. Too late. It's never too late. You know what they say, as long as you have breath in the lungs, right? Right, right. I guess so. Kenton, thank you so much for your time. I'm gonna get out of here and you let me know if anything changes with the horse. Okay? I will, sure, will do. Thank you. Thank you for this. Abigail, please. How many times have I asked you not to be on your phone while we're working? I'm getting an important message from Chuck. An important message from Chuck? Yeah. Chuck is not gonna help you win this competition. Last year you won by the skin of your teeth and you know how your father feels about losing. I don't need to practice anymore. I've been doing this since I was six years old. And getting one text message is not gonna keep me from winning. Abigail. I need you to concentrate and let me do my job. I need you to stop trying to be my mom. How much more time do we have left anyway? Tighten up your lunge line and take him a couple more rounds. Shot! 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 Come on! Shot! Shot! Head! Head! Shot! Hi, Amanda. How are you? What are you doing here? Well, I was just stopping by because I heard that you were here during the week and I wanted to know if I could help you out with it. Help me out? <laughs> what do you even know about horses? I don't know much, but I know that I really love them. And maybe if I learn enough, Mr. Canton will give me a job here. Here, go. Go right there. Keep the ice pack on for at least 10 minutes. And whatever you do, don't stand behind her, unless you want to get kicked. OK. Do you understand? OK, I understand. Do whatever you say. So you live far from here? No, about you know, two miles down. Did someone drop you off? Got here on my own two feet. The old fashioned way. I would appreciate a nice cool glass of water. Sure. I'll get that for you, but hold that on for at least 10 more minutes, okay? Okay. Boss, hmm. now, you know I've seen many horses in my day. But I got to be honest with you, boss. This horse is making a great improvement. Oh, come on, Avery. Who are you talking to? You're pulling my leg. She's looking pretty good. I think in about another week or two, she'll be ready to get back to doing shows. Looks like that little girl just might pull this off after all. Yeah, maybe. You know, boss, uh, sometimes, Women, they have uh, the potential to see into the future, be it young or old. And some don't. But uh, 
My ex-wife had that potential. She can see into the future. Avery. Yes, sir. You miss her. Tell the truth. Well, she made the best sweet potato pie I've had in my life. Okay. <laughs> well. straight days. You're starting to annoy me, young man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to annoy you. I, I just like being around the horses. Yeah, well, I'm leaving to go have dinner soon. Do you want to come? Dinner at your house? Yeah, I mean, why not? We've always got extra food. And my dad's girlfriend's actually a pretty good cook. I'd love to come. Okay, well, hurry up. She's cooking beef brisket. It's my favorite. Sounds good. Best delicious. You'll see. And you better not try to kiss me either. <laughs> Looks like someone appreciates my cooking. I don't think he's doing more than appreciating it. I think he's loving it. <laughs> Would it be disrespectful if I'm that bashful and that ask for more? Hmm. Oh. Well, <laughs> there's a whole pot left in there. Help yourself, son. Told you it was good. Yeah, but <laughs> you, you never told me it was this good. <laughs> Do you guys know that Thomas walks two miles all the way in the 100 degree heat just to help me out at the barn? Two miles? It's a long walk by yourself. Uh, that's nothing. Uh, I walk everywhere I go. When was the last time you had something good to eat? Well... But we eat something good when we can. It just depends, though. My dad, he's been in and out of work lately, so sometimes we have to make sure that my little brother and sister eat. Because they're really young. You don't always eat? Well, uh, most of the time, but I'm not complaining, though. I'm a strong boy, and I have to do what's good for my family. Well... Thomas, anytime you want, you can come over here and have some of Tiffany's delicious cooking. How's that? You know what, Mr. Norman? I might just have to take you up on that offer. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are, Thomas. Home sweet home. I really appreciate the ride, Miss Tiffany. There are these really big raccoons out here, and they kind of scare me sometimes at night. Yeah, they can be pretty vicious. Well, thanks for eating dinner with us. Are you going to the barn tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks so much for the beef biscuit. Brisket. <laughs> He's a sweet kid. He's okay. You have a really good heart, Amanda. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for coming out. We appreciate it. Not a problem. Amanda is doing such an amazing job. I mean, you really need to congratulate her. She'll do it for herself. She was here every day, did exactly what you said. Well, it shows. I mean, this horse is just a few days away from a full recovery. You hear that? Really? Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's all because of you, kid. <laughs> you know, if you ever need a job as a vet's assistant, you just give me a call, because I might just have to steal you from Mr. Canton. Misty's OK, and that's all I care about. Well, it's wonderful news, and we'll have to tell Mr. Canton. <laughs> this horse is a dud no matter what. She's never gonna make it. I don't know what you guys are celebrating for. This horse is a loser. Abigail. She's all right, that's what's important. Come on, we'll go tell Canton. I don't know if I've pointed this out before, but 
That third ribbon right there is mm -hmm. my fourth championship. Won it, barely even tried. <laughs> Might have told me once or twice. Yeah, I bet I did. <laughs> Listen, I know Abigail is defending this year, but I have a request. You do. Sit down, make your request. I would like Amanda to ride Misty in the St. Francisville show. You would like Amanda to ride Misty in St. Francisville? Mm -hmm. That is about the toughest competition that there is. You realize that, right? I trophied. Barely even tried. <laughs> Look, I think she should get a shot. She's been working really hard. I'm not saying I think she's going to win, but it would be a great experience for her. She's the only one who nursed that horse back to health. She deserves a chance. Charlotte, she's a little girl, okay? The competition is too tough. She's only going to get her feelings hurt. I can't let that happen. She's tougher than she looks. I've been working with her a lot. I think she can at least compete. You really think so? I do. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. I'll let her do it because you really think so. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You're a good man, Kenton. Yeah, well, tell that to my, fa my ex-family. They seem to have forgotten. gold if you ask me nicely put I agree hey, bring it back around a couple more laps it brings you around these parts oh just just stopping in to say hi and make sure she's all right well I can tell you one thing there's no place you'd rather be come on get her going Misty! There. Hey, Amanda! Hey, I'm gonna wait till you get done and then give you a ride home, all right? Hey, don't worry about it. Just give it a little time. She'll come around. All right, one last round, then we're putting her up. out there today looks pretty good posture is amazing what do you know about posture well, I guess now is a good time to tell you I was a world champion in the 90s yeah well I don't know anything about the 90s so let's just say you've come a long way since the first practice you've been working really hard Amanda it shows yeah well don't know what for Dad doesn't even want me to compete in the show. You know how your dad is. He's pretty protective, and you're his only daughter. Yeah, well, he got to live his life, so I should get to live mine too, right? That sounds fair. Maybe I could talk to him. I don't need you to do anything for me. Amanda, I know you miss her, but... I don't want to talk about I understand. Why are you still trying? Don't you understand? You don't have a shot. I just 
agree. I think she's doing quite well. Whose side are you on anyway? Only you. You'll never make it. And you'll never be anything. That's why you're here working for my father. Abigail, that's enough. I don't know what's wrong with you, but I have never heard anyone be as ugly to someone else as you just were. Your father will certainly be hearing about it. Wait, please, I'm sorry. Apologize. Do it now. I'm sorry. Go saddle up. You've got a lot of work to do. This time of night. What's going on? Teach her a lesson. Doing, young lady, what are you trying to hurt this horse? You don't understand. Look, I don't have to understand. I can tell you about to do something horrible. I'm gonna have to tell your father. We, no, he's forcing me to win. I don't even want to do this anymore. Why don't you want to do this anymore? Because it's not fun anymore. I've worked at it so hard. Ever since I was a little girl, this is all I've ever done. But nobody asked me if this is what I really want to do. It's just like I'm supposed to do it. Now look, now your father's worked very hard and put a lot of money into you doing well. Are you so ungrateful? I'm not being ungrateful. I'm very grateful. But why is nobody listening to me? This is my life, isn't it? It is. It is your life. But what kind of lesson is it teaching? You just give up on something you've worked so hard for? Now listen, I agree. Your father's pushing you way too hard, and winning isn't everything. But you have to have some fun while you're doing this. I need you to dig deep and go back and try to find that passion or that love you used to have in the beginning. This is a long, long family tradition. I mean, I love being around the horses. And I love to ride them. But I really don't think I want to compete anymore. Why don't you just sit down with your father? one-on-one -on -one and really tell them how you feel. Maybe that's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe I'll talk to him. Okay. Are you going to tell on me? I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you just once. One time only. 
you have to promise me you won't hurt this horse or any of the other horses in the room. Okay? I agree. Promise? I promise. Secondly, you have to work hard every day, at least up until the next show. And then you'll sit down, sit down with your father and have a one-on-one, -on -one, a heart-to-heart. -heart. Okay? Okay. Okay? I promise. 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 Another thing. When you get upstairs, when you get in that bed, I want you to pray to God. And you got to ask him for some insight on some of these things. I don't need you ending up like Max's wife. That woman is lost, confused, disgusted. You don't want to get me started on her. my ex-wife. Something wrong with that woman, I swear to you. Come on, baby. You OK? down, close to your saddle. sweet little girl, but to my mind, she's not a true rider. Excuse me? Hmm. I'm gonna have to disagree with you. This girl can do anything she puts her mind to. Oh, I agree. I agree, but in order to do that, it'll take skill, and skill will take time. Did you know there's a study that says it takes roughly 9,000 hours to get to be an expert at anything? 9,000 hours. Interesting statistic. Hmm. One small caveat. Really? Humor me. Well, every single human being is different. Some statistics don't even apply. Certainly you can think of at least one human being who's an anomaly. Anomaly? <laughs> I smell an educated woman. <laughs> Where'd you go to school? Um, kicked down a few calendars at Yale. Yale? Well, my parents could never afford to send me there. I, I got a full ride, scholarship, soccer. I don't like to brag. I certainly wouldn't have pegged you for a Yale graduate. I went to Harvard myself. We are not supposed to like each other very much. No, we are not. <laughs> but like you say, people are different. Statistics and stereotypes, you can't pin them on everybody. That's true. Mm. So what brings you down here around these parts, Yale? Um, after college, I got into investment banking for a couple years. Mm. I made a ton of money, but it just, it wasn't for me. You know, breaking up all those companies and people losing their jobs, it just didn't sit well. So I came back to horse country. More time to relax and, and paint. Wait, paint? Oh yeah, painting is my passion. So you went, you went from investment banking and breaking up companies to painting. That's quite a trip. Yeah. Why don't you talk her out of it, hmm? She can go to a couple of the other shows, participate in them, but St. Francisville, it's big. With all due respect, sir, from a person who's given up a lot for her own passion, I, I enjoy seeing someone who will fight for what they believe in, no matter what. I agree with that. I do. You see that? You should savor the embarrassment. What do you say to a Harvard versus Yale wager? Are you a betting man? Well, I don't like to brag, but uh, I have been known to go all in on a poker hand or two. <laughs> Good. What are you talking about? I don't know, something simple. What do you say? Something simple, okay. Yeah. Uh, simple, Yale math. Uh, I will bet you $1,000 that she does not win the show. I don't want to take any more than that from you, you being retired and all. Right, right. Painting, starving artist. Thousand dollars. Yep. That is, um, that is 
awfully small for a tycoon like yourself. Ow. Oh, look at this huge ranch you have. Well. Double it. Two thousand bucks. You got yourself a bet. Alright. Shall we shake on it? Absolutely. <laughs> By the way, Yale, should you ever decide to come back into the business world, I want you to call me. I like having sharp people around. I appreciate the offer, sir, but I think I'll stick to painting. Any good? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I'll bring some stuff over. So you don't like to brag. It's okay, Misty. We're gonna have a great show tomorrow, okay? Win or lose, we're gonna have fun. Hey, little lady. How's it going? I don't have my watch, but uh, isn't it about time for you to get going? Yeah. I'll be leaving soon. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure I got to spend the last little bit of time I could with Misty before I left. The big show's tomorrow. Oh, yes. Are you excited? Yeah. I mean, I'm nervous, but I'm ready. I don't think I'll sleep a wink tonight. Now, look. You have to get you some rest. All champions rest well, and they play hard. Okay? You know, you're starting to remind me a lot of my little girl. She's tenacious just like you, and uh, she's determined just like you. But you got to remember to put a smile on your face and have fun. As long as you do the best that you can do, you be happy with that, and I'll be happy. Thanks, David. Hey, look, what you've done with this horse, I haven't seen anyone else do it. Remember, you have the hands of God, young man. Hands of God? Yeah, the hands of God. You know, he got big hands, so he got the whole world in his hand. But let me get on out of here, all right? You remember, my ex-wife been calling me for 45 minutes. I'm, let me get out. Preaching to the choir. Hands of God. Just thought we'd get a chance to talk before your big day. Dad, stop. The butterflies just went away, and now you're going to make them come back. Just imagine how I feel, my baby girl out there in front of all those people and judges. It's okay, Dad. Got the hands of God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was really against this until Miss Tiffany asked me to let you compete. She asked you? Well, she basically told me. That was nice of her. You know, Amanda, I think you'd really like her if, uh... Nah, never mind. Listen, I want you to know that win or lose, you are everything to me. And that no matter what, I'm always here for you. You don't need money, and you don't need trophies. All we need is us, okay, kiddo? All we need is us, Dad. All right, let's go. We got a big day tomorrow. You came. Yeah. It's only 1.1 miles from the house. You know, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Thanks. Oh, could you please tell Miss Tiffany that my mom and dad said thanks so much for the food? Food? Yeah. She went over to Walmart and bought a ton of food for us. We have enough food now to last until I'm about, you know, 15 years old. Wow. Really? She did that? Yeah, she did. That's a wonderful woman right there. God bless her. I had no idea. She didn't tell you? No? All right, you two. We better get moving. Judges are getting antsy, so is Misty. Well, 
Well, I'll see you later. Sure. Go get them. Abigail, no! Abigail, not again. You get back on that horse right now or you will not have a home to come to. Canton, you will back off right now and apologize to your daughter. She's doing the best that she can, and even if she messes up, we love her we anyway. We don't quit in this family, Ophelia. Well, you quit on our marriage. Oh, no, no, no. This is not the place. Yes, it is. No, we're not going to have this discussion here or now. No, we'll discuss this now. I loved you to the ends of the earth, and look what you did to us. Mom was a good mom. Yes. Mom is a good mom. It was me, baby. But things are much more complicated when you're an adult. Do you love her? Yes, I love her. That's all I ever wanted to hear. Okay, maybe I would know. I, I was too tough on you. Okay. If you don't want to ride any more, then you don't have to. I love to ride the horse, Seth. But I don't want to do the shows anymore. I just want to be normal. I want to live my life for once. Sounds fair. <laughs> Congratulations. I love you, Misty. I knew we could do it. <laughs> you did such a great job. Sorry for being so horrible to you. It's okay. I know you're going through some upgrade. I believe this belongs to you, Yale. Thank you, Harvard. Mm -hmm. Amanda. I don't know if you realize this or not, but it's actually Miss Tiffany responsible for buying your horse for you. Really? You did that for me? It was worth every penny, sweetie. You look really good out there. You did a fantastic job. I'm proud of you. 
Thanks, Mr. Ken. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture, guys. Good. Mr. Ken. Thank you. Say we go home and have some of my famous beef brisket that I love. Oh, okay. <laughs> Made by someone that's learning to love. You have no idea how long I've waited to hear that. Beef biscuit? Beef biscuit! Yes! I can't wait! <laughs> <laughs> Brisket. Yeah. Right. You're right. Good job. Brisket. You can make some of your special sauce. Oh, it tastes like honey. It's really good. <laughs> Hello. Hey, look here now. You've been calling me for two days. What do you want? What? Child support. Well, 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 let's talk about this child support, okay? This girl is 27 years old. I don't even work at the ranch no more. Mr. Ken let me go. Yeah, that's none of your business. Huh? Geraldine, let me go. Let me go, Geraldine. Bye. Another slate for Sarah, boom. You know, your mother loved it so much, she always blamed herself for everything. <laughs> you caught my eye. <laughs> she was like this, she was like this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Still feeding. Never enough time, okay? Never enough time. That's what I told Max's wife. I said, uh, a thousand years ain't enough time to uh, get me through the aggravation you didn't put me through for 10 years. <laughs> you hear me? I said, that woman uh, was a professional nagger. If nagging was a professional, okay? She was the Michael Jordan of nagging. You hear me? If they gave out a, a championship trophy for the nagging championship, if there was such a thing, uh, she would have been like uh, uh, magic in the 80s, okay? Uh, or the bulls in the nineties, all right? Avery. Yes. What exactly does this have to do with anything? Nothing. Okay. Unbelievable. No. Amanda. No, I'm Amanda. Shoot, that's not your name. Abigail. No wonder I'm such a terrible Abigail. diet. <laughs> <laughs> Action. You know, Amanda, I really don't know if I want you jumping. Your mother loved it. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Mark?
one morning, uh, he put a super glue on my tooth, bro. Okay, I ain't know nothing about it. So I go, and I'm trying to get my chops together because I, I got Tyrell the gum, okay? So I'm, I go to brush and get my, you know, and I, and I feel a little resistance. So I, I give, and I'm trying to, <clears throat> and I get one of them. I done pulled out two of my premolars, my front two wisdom teeth, and my canine. You gonna roll out on me like that. Like, hey, uh, what you say, pretty lady? You can do it now, man. You gonna stick your tongue out of me. Get on. You know, man, I really don't know if I want you jumping. The bird does it one more time, he's going in the oven. <laughs> Shotgun. <laughs> Goodness. So since they bring change, there's not much we can do. I trust that God has sent the sails. We will make it through. I look into your eyes. I know your heart is true. Once the rain has washed away, everything is new. Everything I feel, everything I do, all that I am is my gift to you. Every step I take is closer to you. Everything in me is my gift to you, my gift to you. Every time I go to talking and telling a story, they walk away from me. I can't figure that out for the devil, man. Boom, man, do you know why? <laughs> I don't know. Uh. <laughs> hey. Come on now. Let's go. <laughs> Come on now. Wait. Drive it on up. What, what, what else you say? Pull it on back. Ease on down the road. Ease on down. Ease on down. Ease on down the road. Ease on down. Cut, cut. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>